So as you remember, last year we had the Origin of Language conference meeting, uh, findings from linguistics, mathematics, and mysticism. And uh, I, I like to start with a quote uh, that kind of uh, gets at the heart of what we're trying to talk about. Um, and this is from Ada Lovelace. She says, mathematical science shows what it is. What it is. It is the language of the unseen relations between things, but to use it and apply that language, we must seize the unseen and the unconscious. Uh, the, the origin, nature, purpose, and function of language has been one of humanity's enduring enigmas. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, in an What's era that? where man and machine are converging and our consciousness is being increasingly shaped by artificial intelligence and natural language processors, uh, this ontological question has never been more relevant. Um, I can comment on what you just said. Yeah, let's start with a commentary and then we'll go into the question. Uh, first of all, we should, uh, <clears throat> we should not be confused about when people talk about machines. They don't mean machines, they mean programs. Right. So the question is whether there are programs that have anything to say about human language. Uh, programs are theories written in a curious notation so that computers can execute them. So really the question is, has artificial intelligence or national lang natural language processing produced a theoretical understanding of human language? And the answer is no. It uh, provides techniques for doing things. It's an applied field. Uh, it uh, you know, can, if, if you do massive statistical studies of huge amounts of data, you can find patterns in the way people use language. And those patterns can sometimes uh, provide ways, say, of uh, guessing what your next word is going to be. Uh, but that tells you nothing about language. Right. That's as if you could, uh, if you studied a huge number of chemical experiments, a vast number uh, with supercomputers, and you did massive statistical analysis, you could make a fair prediction on what's going to happen the next time you mix a couple of chemicals. Is that a contribution to chemistry? Mm-hmm. 